Well, the U.S. has been supporting the MKO terror group uh, on and off uh, over the years. The uh, MKO is a fanatical, extreme communist group that morphed into a terror cult, combining uh, the worst uh, features of ISIS and the Moonies. They have a, a cult leader who orders people to who who to, who they get married with and things like that. It's one of these uh, really uh, kinds of bizarre uh, mind controlled groups. And somehow this crazy terror group that's killed more than ten thousand innocent Iranians in uh, terrorist attacks over the past few decades is now connected to the White House, uh, the U.S which had designated the MKO uh, a terrorist group, and indeed the MKO has assassinated several Americans, both in and out of uniform, over the years. But now in the Trump administration, suddenly the MKO is their best friend. And so this news that uh, when the U.S. decided to assassinate General Soleimani, they first coordinated with the MKO terrorists uh, through Brian Hook, who's the U.S. special rep for Iran, and uh, apparently he uh, met with Robert Joseph, who is the uh, MKO liaison to the uh, U.S. government figures. And so that, it, both before and after this assassination, this suggests that the U.S. government is working closely with one of the world's craziest and most vicious extreme uh, terror groups, a group that's right up there with uh, ISIS or Daesh, if not worse, uh, in uh, committing this act of war, the assassination of the leading military figure of a sovereign state. And to call this worrisome uh, would be an understatement. It's, it's frankly, it's completely insane. And it, the ramifications are, well, on, on one level, the U.S. attempt to uh, have its way with Iran will not uh, be getting uh, any 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 closer to fruition with this kind of strategy because the people of Iran hate the MKO. Virtually everybody in Iran hates the MKO. They're less popular in Iran than Al Qaeda is in the United States, and the U.S. government today seems to think that it can take over Iran and install the MKO as the new government there, that's very much like uh, somebody imagining they could take over the United States and install Al-Qaeda as the new regime governing the United States. Americans wouldn't stand for that, and Iranians won't stand for this strategy either. Um, so it's a self-defeating uh, and incredibly stupid strategy from the U.S. perspective, but it's also uh, stupid from the perspective of these leaders who are consorting with the world's worst terrorists to carry out this kind of assassination. The United States government asserts it has the right to kill terrorists preemptively anywhere in the world, and indeed to blow up huge numbers of innocent people in order to even just kill one uh, so-called terrorist without any form of due process. Well, if the U.S. government has that right, so do other governments and, uh, and others around the world who are fighting terrorism. And that means that uh, Brian Hook and Robert Joseph and the people that they've worked with on this are very much in a position where anyone who wants to fight terrorism should uh, kill them. And that means that governments around the world, including the Iranian government, which has the right to retaliate in kind for what happened to General Soleimani, absolutely has the right to kill Brian Hook, to kill Robert Joseph, to kill Mike Pompeo, and uh, maybe even Donald Trump. I mean, these people uh, are murderers, war criminals, and consorting with this terrorist group that's killed 10,000 Iranians. They're far worse than Al-Qaeda. What would the U.S. do in a similar situation if another country did what the U.S. has done to Iran? So the, you know, Pompeo, Joseph, Hook, uh, the people around them had better watch out because for the rest of their lives, they are going to have to deal with the likelihood of eventual just retaliation.